So I wanted to show you how easy it is to get insight into your Instagram account performance with three tools I've already mentioned, such as Union Metrics and Simply Measured. So this one is Union Metrics. And as you can see, we can get a free Instagram account checkup and the URL at which you can get your checkup is unionmetrics.com backslash free tools backslash Instagram account checkup. So we'll start a checkup and you need to sign up or log in if you already have an account. And then once you're inside Union Metrics dashboard and you've already been using it, then you will hit refresh on your Instagram account. If it's your first time using Union Metrics, then you will have to authorize Union Metrics to get some data from your Instagram account. And then once it refreshes or collects the necessary data, you will be able to see when is the best time for you to post. So for me, it says that Monday at 11 a.m. is the best time for me to post to Instagram. And that content posted on this day during this time receives 30% more engagement than an average post. But as you can see, like I already mentioned, Union Metrics will tell you the best time to post um, during those times when you already post. So I usually post in the morning and you can see this little cluster of squares right here. And as you can see, I don't usually post during the night or early mornings as well as I don't post in the late afternoon. That's why it's blank. So it is a great tool for you to see when is the best time for you to post um, during your regular posting hours. However, again, as I already mentioned, you have to experiment and try to have more squares here and there to see what really works best for you and which times and days bring the most engagement for your account. And while we're already in the Union Metrics dashboard, I will also show you um, that you can see the number of fans. Um, so fans are those people who you do not necessarily follow, but who follow you back. And as you can see, it shows you who is my biggest fan. And it also shows me my top hashtag. So as you can see, again, it shows what are the hashtags that I use the most and what kind of averages, um, average engagement I can see per post, as well as other basic general statistics on my account. Now let's go to Simply Measured free tool and the URL at which you can get your own statistics is simplymeasured.com backslash free social media tools. And as you can see, there are quite a couple of different free analytical tools you can get, most of them on Facebook. However, we're interested in Instagram user analysis. So let's click into it and then you will enter your Instagram handle and click authenticate with any Instagram account. Then you will have to authenticate simply measured with your Instagram account so they can start collecting some data on the performance of your account and then authorize the app. Then you will click continue and now you will get your free report sent to your email. So now that Simply Measured has fetched your Instagram account um, information, you can see all kinds of interesting statistics such as your most engaging filter and your most engaging location, as well as the total number of engagement you got and engagements per post. You can also see all kinds of graphs related to, again, engagement, likes and comments, um, as well as averages per photo and per video. You can see your top posts. So you can see top keywords people have responded to and then keyword mentions in the comments. So because I put all of my hashtags into the comment section, this is why you can see all of this information and then you can see comments and posts by day and time. So this is the 
graph we are after here so you can definitely see again that my top times are in the mornings and as you can see top day for engagement here says Thursday and it says 10 a.m. So we can see that 10 a.m. on Thursdays are the best times for me to post according to Simply Measured free tool. And then while we're here, again, you can see basic analytics such as top photo filters and what type of filters get the most engagement for your content, as well as top photo tags, video filters top cities and locations and you can download all of this information into an excel spreadsheet for future use and future reference so this is another great free tool you can get to get some basic insights into your instagram account even if your instagram account is not set as business and now we are inside a paid Instagram analytics solutions that I do really recommend is Icona Square. So we'll go to an engagement tab under analytics and you can see again all the likes received, average likes, comments um, and so forth. We can also see likes and comments history graphs and here we are at best times to post and as you can see the best time to post for my account according to icona square is mondays at 10 a.m so again you can see the variability between different solutions and what they're telling you about best times to post for me at least we can see that it is 10 a.m on a work day um, so that's a good sign that at least it's a little bit consistent if yours however are completely different then it may mean that you have more than one optimal time to post so um, your audience is obviously coming at different peak times uh, but it can also mean that your posting schedule is so inconsistent that this apps cannot figure out what works best for your account um, so here again we can see all the different dots and we can see percentages so for example tuesdays at 10 a.m um, has an average engagement rate of 14.8%. Um, again, this is based on the posting times I usually post. So we can see three media based on one media, two media, and so forth. What I like about Icona Square is that you can see posting habits. Um, so again, you can see that um, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and 10 a.m. are popular times for me to post sometimes i post as late as noon but overall i stay pretty consistent i post a little bit earlier during the work week and then i post a little bit later on a weekend and i do it on purpose because i feel that most people are checking their instagram first thing in the morning or during their morning commutes where on the weekends um, we take a little bit more time leisurely time waking up a little bit later and checking instagram a little bit later as well so this is why i post later on the weekends and then you can see information such as filter impact on likes and comments um, and then average love rate by post um, talk rate engagement rate again most liked most engaging posts so that's all under engagement tab um, so let's go into overview while we're here and i'll show you around a little bit more so again you can see an overview total followers total following um, how your following is growing how many followers you've gained or lost um, your community engagement um, likes like history again the same graphs we've seen under engagement tab we can also go under community and there's a lot of really insightful and engaging information he there um, we can see community and we can see follower growth gained and lost followers distributions by number of followers and then um, reachability so how many people are easily reachable and then followers activity profile so how active 
they are on your account and also um, how active they are on Instagram itself. I also like this graph about people who are following you, whether they're regular, popular, influencers, rising stars, or whether they have low popularity. You can also see the location of your followers, which is again really important for optimal posting times for you. You can also add competitors to watch and hashtags to watch. So Icona Square is just in general a really good overall tool for Instagram marketing. Um, there's again scheduler so you can schedule your posts right from Icona Square and its app. Um, there's also Instagram feed tab and a variety of other tools such as widgets and Chrome extension for you to use. So that's Icona Square for you.